The Queen Mary, also known as the Grey Ghost, is considered to be one of the world's most haunted locations. It's reported that mysterious poundings on the side of the ship are men that were left for dead during World War II. Even if you don't believe in ghosts, you can't deny the eerie feeling when walking through the vortex. When I started here, um, it was me and like four other new show guides. It was like, you're the ghost guides. You need to know where the real vortex is and this is it. Uh, I didn't believe in ghosts, you know. I was like, I don't care, I'll go first. And I walked through, and as soon as I came through here, like I, f I just got dizzy and my legs almost went out from under me. And I actually came right over into here where you're standing now, just, just, just to kind of get out of that. I don't know why I thought I needed to move out of it, but I just felt I needed to move. The vortex is the little, the doorway for the spirits to pass through. And the para, yeah, all the parapsychologists think that it's right here, that the ghosts are coming on board ship through an invisible door right here. The vortex, if you will, the, the, the sort of center of where the spirit activity is uh, reputed to be on the ship is in the uh, for old first class swimming pool area, which is no longer uh, a pool that's in use, uh, but it is part of our tours. We do actually have a room, a guest room on the ship that has been locked for about five or six years now um, because so many guests during, the, during their stay in the middle of the night came up to the front desk and said, I'm not paying for this, I can't stay in that room, there's too many things going on. And three or four um, uh, employees actually quit after working in that room. Hundreds of souls are said to roam the decks, screams are heard from hallways, and yet people can't get enough of these ghostly encounters. Through the course of the 40 years that the ship was sailing, I think there were something like 55 people who had actually died on the ship for one reason or another. Um, that does not take into account the five years during World War II when it was a, uh, a troop carrier. During World War II, she carried nearly a million troops. And at her peak, it said that a life was claimed every seven minutes. In front of you is an elevator that will take us down three levels far below the waterline into the boiler rooms. This is your last chance to abandon ship. And it's here where the most pesky poltergeists roam. Two in particular are Captain Jones and John Henry. And a small girl named Jackie thought she'd have fun in the pool area, slid down the banister, and, well, died. <laughs> You can still hear her young voice as she lingers the pool area and looks for her dolls. People say they've seen her ghostly figure um, crossing the pool or they've heard laughter, uh, children's laughter down there. And then there have been reports of, there's no water in the pool, it's been drained for 40 years, uh, but there have been reports of wet footprints um, leading from the pool from time to time. The ghosts like to feed on any energy source that they can get that's near them. Through the years, people who've said that they've encountered spirits and uh, seen apparitions in guest rooms or in hallways or looking down from portholes. It's a very popular subject for people. People come from all over the world uh, to see if they can experience something here. So we're, we're supposed to be one of the 10 most haunted hotels in America. The ghosts are a big draw for us, um, so we're happy to have them around. <laughs> Trapped in the Queen Mary's service elevator, I'm Jerry Reeder.